Hey everyone, it's me, Hockey Bob Biker here. Just gonna run through the bikes a little more detailed because I was recommended I would give you a better detail of how I have my equipment that I ride. So I'm gonna run through it and see a little more detail what I have, but please excuse me because the bikes are in a little disarray right now because one the front rims getting tweaked so I'm getting it trued up and the one has a rear I hit a branch and you know broke a spoke so that's gonna get looked at I don't have a truing machine so I can't do it myself so I'm gonna let somebody else do it you know they they have uh, the knowledge on it me I'm not good at truing up a rim so I have to take it to somebody that does know so let's get to it. We'll, we'll look at these bikes and let me know what you think. Right now I'm just going through to show you what I have hanging up. That there's a 1998 Trek Lie Bike. Stock tires. They might have seen the cement at least five times, maybe top six. Rock shocks, Judy, you know, bottom of the line of the shocks, but 1998, that's what you got. These bars here are Azonics, Club Roost riser brace. These are off my downhill bike. I got a better set of handlebars, so I put them on the Y bike. It's pretty much stock. It's not a good place for a bottle holder, but if you got the saddle bag, it doesn't work. Same ugly pedals. Same rim. Never bent the rim on that bike. Now I don't know if you can see that. This here, try to get a better look. It's a bottle, two liter bottle, folded in half, three zip ties, and it's a chain guide. Pretty easy trick. That's my wife Schwinn with a Pepsi saddle bag. Not bad, got a turny derailleur, it's, you know. Pretty much stock. We'll get to the front of this bike so you can see what I've put on it. She has some riser bars. I don't know if you can get that. She has some riser bars. I put her a mud flapper on. Pretty much basic street tires. Really can't, you know, you could do some off road, but got her a light up there. She has pretty much, she has two bottle open holders, one here, one here. Stock seat V-brakes. This here is a two liter bottle trimmed up to make a bun flapper for her. Because you had to make it so it would fit her bike. Because regular ones wouldn't. I don't know if you can get this bike, if I can. This here is a Pacific. That's a Pacific. That was free. We walked by it at our neighbor's house. And they had it at. And it was just sitting there. See if you can get a better look at that way. It was free. Got some XC Vortex, probably bottom of the barrel, front shock, suspension. The only thing is I got to get a new brake lever. I rigged it up with a hair tie just to keep it so I could drag it home. Has a regular stock seat. Regular pedals. You know, it's free, so... You know... Couldn't really do too much with that. This here is a 
two-seater baby stroller. You can have, use it as a stroller because it has the wheel up front. But it's a Schwinn. It's a Schwinn. I picked this up. Let me get in focus. I picked this up for 50 bucks. 50 bucks. It's going to be my store getter, grocery getter, you know, trail building and stuff. Like I said, you know, it's good. I used it, <clears throat> excuse me, I used one of these before for a trail build and it worked out pretty good. Now this here is my $40 bike. Iron Horse has mechanical disc brakes, Hayes, Hayes mechanical brakes. Race face basher. Bomber forks. I just bought that saddle, this saddle right here. Came off a of Cannondale. I was in an accident, broke the bars, broke the saddle. So that, this here, came off a of Cannondale. I asked about it and the guy gave it to me for 10 bucks. Couldn't pass that up. Here are the new bars I got. Am I the only one that has these shifters built in with the brake levers? And this cover broke. So I just took it off. I don't know if you can see this. It says Boo Bar. I call my wife Boo Boo all the time. And she calls me Boo. So it was a no-brainer. This bike I have upside down is a Ventana mountain bike. S&M pedals. Look at that hope. Look at that hope. Can't get in focus, sorry. Hope disc, hub. Hope front brake. Hope front brake. Sorry, wrong way, guys. It's got a hope front brake. Some Mesonics handlebars. Don't know if you can see it because I got it pretty much buried. That's an AC crank. I got Magara. Magara, Magara. You can zoom. Let me see if I can zoom in. They're Magara brakes. Hydraulic. And these here, I, this bike here. Was a freebie from a friend's dad. I built it up, added some parts, needed pedals. These are mine off of my BMX bike that I used to have. As you can tell, I broke that pedal right there. Hit a rock. So they're not made for mountain biking. But that's the collection. Oh, sorry. I didn't get to my Hopi bike. It's an Intense M1, 2003 4-ish. It, it came from a semi-pro rider. I wanted an Intense and they offered to sell their backup race bike that they no longer use. So I wanted the Intense and I got it. Has a Minion DHR, Downhill Slow Reezy Maxxis tire in the rear. That's probably about my third tire I've been through. I like it in the rear. It has, you know, low center right here. Grips on the side. You know, as you can tell, I wore it down a little bit. When you hit them berms and you set your pressure the wrong way, you can run your tires that way and it rips them up really bad. So... I opted for a race face crank. I changed this from the stock one they had on here. 
MRP bash guard. For some reason, I can't put the MRP front plate on this because the chain rubs. So I opted for the race face one. It is thicker. It's a little better. Fifth element shock. I got it set pretty slag. I like it a little bouncy. T-Tac uh, seat post. Merzacci. Team saddle. Up front, I tacoed this rim and had it rebuilt. Spokes, nipples, everything. They saved my hub. Oh, out of focus. I got bomber forks again. These are downhill because these are silver. On my other bike are black. So they're a year older or newer. I don't know. Whatever one. And the reason why this is says Hopi. The person I got it off was sponsored by Hopi. See, it says Hopi. And it's this thing right here. It's a steering dampener. You tighten it and the, and the wheels, the handlebars won't wiggle. Well, I snapped that. For some reason, it don't work. I don't need it. You know, it's got exonic handlebars. I went for the ones with this because it kind of makes me feel like a dirt bike. I don't know. Maybe it's, I'm just quirky like that. It's got some old Hayes brakes. Two different ones because I broke one of them. And I use a Michelin. I don't know the name of this tire. Check out them knobbies. This is a new tire. It's probably been used three times. The rear one, not so good. Now if you have a bike, here's a little hack I did. This is just a little hack. See how this shock lays here? All this dirt comes this way. So I cut a piece of inner tube and put it there to protect my shock. And it's been working. It actually worked. So then I was getting mud and it was getting stuck in here. So I tried to up it a little bit. I cut a two liter bottle, made this little flapper. That's the only way it says intense is on that label right there. That's the only marking and on the front badge. And this is another, you know, you know, everybody does this. Put the inner tube right there. I got an XTR derailleur. It's a one by nine. You know, it's it's a beast, you know. I did a couple races where I kept up with people with new bikes. Everybody says, Rob, why don't you change it and make it intense logos? Well, here's my problem. If I take this word Hopi off, then you know under here is going to be shiny black. And this is all dull. So, I'm going to rock it the way it is. You know, I got some. They're hanging from a punching bag hanger because I got a small basement. Those are some old bike and shoes, Nikes. That's some of my collection stuff here. Campbell bag, REI bag, some goggles, $10 pump from a hardware store. It works. That's a saddle that broke from the accident. Extra disc. MRP. Fender. Some tires I wanted to race. Intense brand. Intense. Camelback. I got these helmets. One's a 661 Carbon. Rock Garden. I, I think that's a knockoff. I needed a helmet. Cost me 50, maybe 40 bucks. I added some decals because I was getting, you know, plain Jane on that. And that's an old dirt bike helmet. It's a no Neil. It's a blue one. But yeah, that's my collection. So once again, 
if you have comments, leave them. If you don't like the video, I'm sorry. Sorry for wasting your time. But like I said, send it, write it out. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. I can do more videos. But right now I'm healing from a car accident. So right now I can't really do a video. I can't really ride. But I can do some walking videos. And I hope this, you know, is okay to do. So, once again, send it, ride it out. And give me a thumbs up if you like it. If you don't, I'm sorry, I was looking for a button. Once again, send it, ride it out. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, move along. Look for another video. Well, I hope all is well. Take care, be good, send it and write it out. Thank you for watching.